A couple of weeks back, the country around the little Victorian settlement of Warrion was definitely not the place for a rabbit planning a long life. But this was the day the folks around Warrion declared war on the dreaded bunny, something they've had to contend with for year after verminous year. Out they turned, young and old, all united in the common creed that the only good rabbit is a dead rabbit. Around here, you won't get much argument about the need to get rid of the pest. You can shoot them, you can poison them, you can bring in the dozers to rip up the burrows. But on this particular day, all such modern refinements are barred. These rabbits have been caught by an older and more traditional method, ferreting. It all began earlier in the day on the cold, stony ridges around Warrion. It was planned like a military campaign. Local properties mapped out, farmers consulted, and the ferrets raring to go. And if you didn't happen to own a ferret, well, there was a chap here who'd even rent you one. Thanks very much. Right, ferreters, everybody on their mark, get set. Once in the field, it's a simple enough sort of pastime. The first job, of course, is to find a burrow. And around this country, that's about as difficult as finding a politician in Parliament House. Step two is to fix nets over all the entrances. And step three, insert your ferret, then sit back and wait. Well, as soon as they're big enough to put down the burrows, we usually put an old ferret down first and then shove the young one down behind. And, yeah, well, they probably follow the old one right to where the rabbits are and get a smell of rabbit blood. Ray Theodore has been handling ferrets since he was a boy. He now finds them a useful management tool on his farm. Oh, yes, a big help, really. And, you know, the more ferreters you can get in, naturally, the more rabbits you get rid of. And especially this time of year when they're breeding, it's got rid of, you know, a lot of the doe rabbits, which is good. Underground, at least one ferret is doing its job. <coughs> Occasionally, there's a minor complication. <laughs> the ferret winning? Yeah, I've got two big ferrets hanging up the rabbit. Don't pull too hard, Sam. No, no, no. Hang on, I'm going to get my fingers without getting the ferret on the finger. <laughs> but in the end, it's another win for the ferret. Can't get another rabbit. <laughs> Can't get your own. <laughs> 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. What's this 19, Sam? 22. Back in Warrion, Julie Campbell checks in the kills. Earlier this year, she was appointed part-time coordinator of the local rabbit control group. It was a new initiative by the Department of Conservation, Forests and Lands. And it was based on the idea that if all the locals weren't involved in rabbit control, then the program was less likely to succeed. Oh, that looks better than what I've got so far. Julie's job was to talk to any of the locals with an interest in rabbits. Farmers on the one hand, government inspectors on the other, and even trappers and ferreters. And to get them all singing out of the same hymn book. The answer was a sports day to break the traditional ice. A sports day based on rabbit control. And what better than a ferreting competition? They do understand there is a problem already, but it's just to tighten that group together a lot more. We've already succeeded in that. We've got a common interest now today. It's built that common interest 
with the ferreting competition. <laughs> Thanks, George. No worries. Thank you. Dirty. On your mark. Ferrets above your head. Get set. Go! Get him in there, mate. Go, Tommy. Run! As it happens, the afternoon shapes up as an exercise in 101 things to do with a ferret. You've heard the expression, like a rat up a drain pipe. Well, that's the principle behind this manoeuvre, ferret racing. Ready, go. For those of a less frivolous bent, there's another pastime, rabbit skinning. But despite the laid back nature of the day, there's a serious side to it all. The rabbit population fluctuates in this sort of country, but it is a major problem and it does uh, at times significantly reduce the production farmers can gain from their properties. Ray Leavers is the local manager of the Department of Conservation, Forests and Lands and anything that promotes rabbit control is okay by him. Well, ferreting is a small part of a, an overall program, Blair. Uh, we use techniques such as poisoning, such as uh, ripping of burrows, shooting, and uh, ferreting can be used uh, once those major program uh, items have carri are carried out and, and reduced the population significantly to clean up uh, the minor remains. At day's end, the grand tally is just on 500 bunnies, many of them breeding females whose progeny would emerge to ravage local pastures in the spring. It's an effective result for what was essentially a day of fun. So much so, in fact, that it's now almost certain to become an annual event. <laughs>